It's expected to be one of the biggest cosmic events we have seen in decades, the so-called Comet of the Century. Photographed by the Hubble Telescope, scientists say the head of that comet about 3,000 miles wide, the tail more than 57,000 miles long. The center area called the nucleus is three to four miles across. That's big. Uh, it was discovered by a Russian amateur astronomer last September. They've been watching it ever since. And Tariq Malik is the managing editor of Space.com. Back with us in studio. Good morning to you. Uh, where is she going? Well, uh, it's basically out kind of beyond Jupiter right now. It's coming in uh, to the inner solar system. It's going to swing around the sun. It's going to flare up. Hopefully, be one of the brightest things we've seen in the night sky. So years. it's not coming near the planet Earth. It will it will be nearest Earth after it swings past the sun in December, still millions of miles away, no threat to Oh, I got you. Okay, so that, that, that's taken care of. So if we go back now and we can have a look at the records, this is on um, End of the Age Bible Prophecy uh, Facebook page. Now it's all the different events, all the news, all the weather, all the earthquakes and such and also it's got comet ice on been tra tracking it for a few months and you see here uh, 101 uh, days away well that's okay but you see two, 221 million miles away and it was doing 61,000 miles an hour now if you flip to it now it's doing 99,000 miles an hour and it's tanking it I remember back when this thing was here it was doing like uh, a 0.1 mile an hour every second a good second and now I mean if you just look here I mean it's just doing at least maybe two every second it's just absolutely tanking it uh, 84 million miles away you, know, you can see it here and now look at the, look at the days I mean 24 days and if you see there's a video on YouTube I think it's Darby 7 I think I've got his name right and they're saying that it's actually three days ahead so you're looking at 20 days before this thing hits the Sun now to me I I think this Comet um, is either Trumpet 3 or Trumpet 5 of the Book of Revelation. My personal feeling, I think it's Trumpet 5 because Trumpet 4 is a, where the piece of the uh, sun gets uh, taken off on a massive coronal hole on the side of the sun. It'll actually cause the sun to be dark in one spot and cause the day, the third of the day, not to shine. So people need to start waking up to this thing. It's coming whether you're ready or not. But I mean, the, the days are just ticking back. It's gonna have serious effects. Imagine the sun just start flaring and spitting out all the filaments as it comes by. And like today, I think ice on which Rick slapped the sun on right in the chops. And it'll probably destroy a part of it. The third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit. And there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. And unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but the 
that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men, and they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions, and they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. system here that that runs all the way to Maine to Washington DC to Colorado it's fully stocked uh, it runs completely underground um, and you can see they've been hauling tons of military equipment um, you know they're stocking all these bases now the other thing is the railroad system here is also very shipping here and they can really deliver to all these locations which uh, these locations go all the way to area 51 these locations go all the way to Washington DC there's access underneath the White House to this location okay so this is a strategic location which is really the new command center for the Illuminati and the United States government. Well, forget the United States government. This is a headquarters for the Illuminati. This is where they'll ship most of their supplies. When they go underground, they can stay underground for quite some time. And this is stocked with food, water, everything they need. It's an underground city. So uh, this is the north entrance, and uh, we're going to go see if we can do some more digging. <laughs> 